I'm Monica Mangan, and I believe that updating your home doesn't have to take a ton of time or money. I show people how to get Pinterest-worthy spaces that are just right for them. Oh my god! This is okay. unbelievable! Give me one weekend, I'll give you five projects, and you'll have a completely transformed space by Monday. This weekend I'm in Charlotte, North Carolina, working on a space that a lot of times gets forgotten and ignored. The foyer, also known as the foyer, if you're fancy like that. A foyer can be kind of a challenging space to work with. There's usually a lot of awkward angles, sometimes high ceilings, stairs, closets. It can be a major challenge to design, but it also is like the first thing that people see when they come into your home. It makes the first impression of your home. So you want it to be a good one. Hey, I'm Danny. I'm Laura. We live in Charlotte, North Carolina. We are first time homeowners. Uh, we've been in our new home for about eight to nine months now. We were so excited to own a home and we always talked about all of these things that we would do at the places that we rented. And so now that we're in a home, it's a little bit overwhelming because you're spending the money on it and you want it to be something you're gonna like for a long time. We'd love to make some changes to our home to really kind of bring our own flavor to it. So that's why we think it's a great opportunity for us to really make the biggest impact in the room that's going to make the biggest first impression, and that would be the foyer. It's a space that everyone sees first when they come over, and we have a lot of neighbors stopping over these days. I think it's quite an undertaking for one weekend, but we're gonna make it happen. Hey guys! Hey, how's how it going? Are you? Welcome. Thanks. All right. So, this wow. is the foyer. It's really big. This is the first thing everyone sees when they walk in your house. And yes. uh, it leaves a little something to be desired at this point. It is the definition of a blank canvas for us. <laughs> White and empty. So tell me a little bit what you guys would like to see for the space. We have neighbors coming over all the time to say hello. Okay. And we would love to have a space that they can see that really represents us and yeah. isn't so dated. Tell me what's got to go, what's got to stay. The staircase is definitely tired and dated. The floors don't have to go, but don't really do anything for the space. There's a bit of a disconnect between the wood yes, tones exactly. there. Agreed. And it's in great, it looks like it's in great condition. So right. we maybe just need to bring those together. Yes, sure. exactly. So this weekend, we're gonna tackle something with the stairs. We're gonna build you guys some furniture. We are going to address the lighting situation. We're gonna do a bit of a wall treatment, and we're also gonna have some organization in here. So we have a lot of work to do this weekend, but clearing out this space is not one of our big jobs. So find a mini blind and let's go. Great. <laughs> to work. I've got some awesome ideas. It's gonna take me two days. I'm gonna show you five projects, and we're gonna end up with one grand entrance. Get it? <laughs> grand entrance for you. Before we can get any paint on the walls, I'm measuring and marking for a simple wall treatment that will add a ton of visual interest to the space. All right, so I've got this wall pretty well prepped for the wall treatment that I mentioned. We're gonna add vertical molding that's really gonna play up the height of this space. I mean, it's really tall ceilings and we wanna take advantage of that. We're not gonna go all the way up to the ceiling. We're gonna kinda cut it off at the balcony height there. We're gonna use um, one inch molding and we're gonna install it vertically. So we are putting it about 12 inches apart. So it's going to create almost like a paneled look but not like granny paneling. It's gonna be clean and fresh and modern. After measuring and cutting your molding to size, it goes up on the wall in no time by dabbing a little wood glue and then tacking it into place. Cut, glue, tack, and repeat like 30 times. All right, Laura, we are actually gonna do a little furniture building here. Have you built furniture before? No. Okay, <laughs> we're gonna build you a console table. It's designed after something that I saw at a pretty high-end furniture store, and I was like, wait a minute, we can build that. The reason that I love building furniture is that it saves a ton of money and you can customize the size of it too. When you walk into your foyer, that wall there isn't extremely long, so it would be really hard to find a piece that would fit it perfectly, but it's very easy to build one ourselves. First, we're cutting the legs to size, then using a Craig jig to hide our screw holes, keeping the aesthetics of the piece nice, but still making it a really secure build. So see here, it created pocket holes, and that will allow our screw to go in and attach to the next piece of furniture. Oh, wow, neat, right? Yeah. The top is just a chunky piece of pine wood that we cut to size. All right, so now you see kind of yep. what our base is for. <laughs> yeah, it looks great, and it looks it looks high quality, so I can just see how when you 
stain it or paint it, it's just gonna look like something you bought from the store. This, about a $100 project versus maybe $1,000 at the store. Yeah. All right, guys, we're gonna start working on paint. And it's one of our five projects, but we have a lot of it to do in this space. So let's get a look at these colors. So first I'm gonna show you all the walls. You gotta trust me on this whole okay. process, okay? <laughs> okay? Don't freak out okay. ahead of time. All right, one, two, three. Oh. oh. <laughs> what Silence. Co what, co what color is it? What color does it look like to you? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> because it, it could look completely different once it hits the wall. So this color is actually called white truffle. It is an off-white that leans a little bit towards pink, okay? How are you feeling about this? <laughs> I'm fine with it, if it looks good. A little nervous, only because I'm anxious to see exactly what color it's going to hold once it gets on the wall. Well, what's gonna happen is it's gonna give off a tone that works really nicely with your floors. Danny's saying, oh, I like it, and his face is not saying that at all to me. But in the end, he just needs to trust the process. When it's all pulled together, it's gonna look awesome. Do I need the roller with me? Okay. Jeez! <laughs> that is not fun. So I don't really dig heights, but in this situation, I'm gonna have to climb that scaffolding. I can't make the homeowners do it. I'm just hoping I can kind of play it cool. It shakes a lot. Um, oh, I, I'm just not a fan of this. So I'm here. Question is, how do I get there? I think you gotta get at least one more step. Higher? Yep. Okay. I'm really glad she's going up there and not me. I'm a lefty, I want this leg. There you go. Jeez, oh Pete! <laughs> Made I think it. I did it! <laughs> Alright, good. Okay, good. All right, coming so, up. I'm just gonna sit and paint. Uh, Take it all yeah. in. Okay, last night was a late one, but we got all the walls painted. Quite an accomplishment, really. And first thing this morning, we're starting with more paint. We're banging out the stair railing before Lara and I start on a trendy little organizational project. All right, Lara, I have a really fun project planned for us today. What we're gonna do is make you a coat rack that also okay. doubles as decor, okay? I love projects that are functional and have high style and are easy to make and affordable. So it like checks off all the boxes for this one. This is a super simple project for anybody. Step one, stain your wood. Next, take a one inch dowel and cut it into four inch lengths, then stain the dowels. Take some leather strips, you can pick them up at almost any craft store, and place them evenly on your wood base, and drill a hole through the leather and the wood with a hole saw attachment. Fit the dowels through the leather and into the wood base, and there you go, you've got yourself a trendy little leather coat rack. Lighting can completely change the space, and it's really important. Important enough to make me climb the stinking high scaffolding again to replace their chandelier. Now, this 80s bad boy has gotta go. We've got them something new and sleek. Matt is going to install the new one. I'm gonna supervise from here and hold on really tightly. This is all ready to go, so uh, we got the power off so we can take this down. All right, step one, shut the power off. All right, so Matt is taking down the old light. It really just requires a screwdriver. <laughs> and it's down. <laughs> I just gotta take off the old wire nuts and then it comes right out. So you're usually gonna have two to three wires. Your black is hot, white is neutral, and then you have your ground wire. The key to successfully installing is attaching black to black, white to white, keeping them together. Your new light fixture will come with its own bracket. That's going to attach the new bracket. <laughs> Gosh! You drop one more thing. Just running you. You could hold that too. That would help. Oh, out. holding it is going to mean I can't hold on. <laughs> All right. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Let me get situated. This fixture is. Awesome. It's clean lined, it's simple, it's gonna be really timeless. The, oh, stop moving. <laughs> I can't multitask like this. <laughs> I can't stay alive and insert the light and tell you about it. <laughs> Once you have all your wires attached and in place, you can attach the canopy, which hides it all up in the ceiling. And the good news is, the best news is, this means we're done and I can get down. <laughs> Ah! 
count of three, you guys can do it. One, two, three. Oh, I Whoa. love the art. Oh my gosh, I love the, the light. The light fixtures are amazing. Yes. The lighting is a dramatic improvement from the 80s light fixture before, <laughs> which was just so dated. And then how do you feel about the updated banister? Oh, it's great. <laughs> Compared to the original, yeah, better. it looks much better. Oh, yes, I you love helped that. on that. I yes, didn't even see it. That. that looks amazing. So the biggest question is, what do you guys think about this paint color yeah. now? Oh, it looks great. When we first opened the bucket, I was definitely skeptical. Now that it completely fills the room, it looks it looks great. Now, one of your big concerns before we started this weekend was neighbors and people coming in. How do we do? Is this feeling more welcoming? Are we reflecting you guys? I think we're gonna throw the door open now. Before, yeah, it, before we'll it was cracked, now open. it'll be like, everyone come over and check it out. <laughs> we'll be out in the streets trying to get people to come in and see it. <laughs> it definitely has our feel, so I think it's gonna be kind of a prideful moment to, to open the door and allow people to kind of see our look. Well, thanks for letting me come help with this. This is a challenge, a really big challenge, but a fun one for me. Thank you. Guys, this weekend I'm in Austin, Texas, helping out a family with a space that's a little different for the weekender. We're actually working on their garage. All right, you ready? <laughs> wow. <laughs> nice. You're right. I mean, can it get any better than this? I don't know. <laughs> Are you loving The Weekender? If so, click like and subscribe to the Lowe's YouTube channel. That way you'll be notified when the next episode drops. And then I challenge you to become a Weekender. You can get started on our hub at Lowe's.com. We have how-to videos, step-by-step -step guides, and project lists for every episode. If you need a little more inspiration, check out my boards on Lowe's Pinterest page. We have mood boards, alternate styles, and you can pin your favorite projects. Thanks, guys.